Hi, it's Rhonda. I'm coming to you live from SoFlo in Miami, where I just sat down with my good friend Julia from Cakers Chat. We had a great conversation and we're going to be sharing some exciting news with you later. So be sure to follow her Facebook page and watch her channel on YouTube so that you can hear about it. the SoFlo Cake and Candy Expo 2018. Let's get inside. Welcome cakers, bakers, and sweet treat makers. This is Cakers Chat. In this episode, we chat with Rhonda Urbanzik of Blog Goddess. Rhonda has more than 20 years experience in website building and design, specializing in WordPress. Rhonda delivers top tier support and guidance globally, training and coaching webmasters and in blogging mastermind groups, helping them get the most from their website platform. Don't stress, Rhonda solves mysteries of WordPress. Today, she will share her tricks of the trade that will help increase traffic to your site. Rhonda, thank you so much for joining us today. What brings you over here to SoFlo? I've been coming to SoFlo for the last three years. I live in Tampa, so it's an easy drive for me to come out and see what's new in the cake world and to pick up a ridiculous amount of supplies and to visit with all my cake friends. That sounds just about right. Now, I'm here because we know each other through the powerhouse blogging mastermind of Cara Andretta, right? And you're a fellow baker, but your day job is a little bit more techie. Tell us a little bit more about that. Okay, so I've been a web manager and a project manager for about 20 years. Um, I've been building websites since you had to code them in pure HTML. I found a way to combine my two passions, baking and blogging. And what I do is I offer consultation services to anyone who needs them, but because of my caking background, I'm especially sensitive to the needs of my fellow bakers. Tell me about it. What are, what are our needs and how are they different from any other blogger? Well, cakers um, who want to do blogging for a living, you know, you want to make sure that you've got the right tools behind you. You want to make sure that the back end of your website is runs very, very smoothly and that all of your content is up to date and all of your applications are up to date. And those are the things that power your website. And you also want to make sure it's very secure. Yeah, you lost me at background and techie and all this stuff, which leads me to the next thing. The way you like to uh, do your blogs is through WordPress, right? You're a big WordPress person. Tell me the advantages and why you stay sticking to your guns with WordPress. Well, WordPress has been around for a very, very long time. It is the most used platform in the world. Um, I have been using it for many years, at least 10. And it's very simple to use. Um, it's, if you have the right themes and the right plugins, it's very easy to run your blog and to coordinate all of the different sections of your website very well. And you don't have to know coding and you don't have to know all of those things to make it work. See, I think that's where we get a little confused with this age of icons and dragging and dropping. We prefer that kind of interface, something like a Wix. Now, is that as good as WordPress? Is that any different? What is the difference? Well, the answer to that, I'm sorry, is, is really it depends, okay? Um, I use a theme in WordPress that's called Divi, and they have what's called a visual builder. So I can build my web page probably like you're used to doing in Wix, where I can see the page as I'm building it, and I can see all the features and functionality, and I can add things. Um, if you go to my blog goddess site, I really uh, make a lot of use of Divi in that. And it's very simple. Divi provides a lot of support. Um, they're very, very um, user-friendly and they have different plugins for different things. So there's opt-in plugins for your email opt-ins so that you can do the slide outs and you can do all of those things. Um, they have layout plugins that you can use to pick different pre-created layouts that you might like. It's very user-friendly. And also there's big news in the WordPress world. They are getting ready to release what they call Gutenberg, which is in WordPress 5.0. And that is content blocks, the entire editing 
of posts and pages will change and it will be more like what you're talking about with Wix. Hold up. What does that mean in English? What is that going to help me do? You make it sound way too easy, first of all. Okay, so now you've got me really curious to find out what that is. And what is this new update going to do for my life? Well, if you um, don't have a WordPress site yet, this, this new update might make it a little bit easier and a little bit more appealing for you if you're nervous about moving from something like Wix. Um, it, it makes it easier for you to create content and to display content creatively. That is the big thing. As cakers, we're creative people. We want everything to have a little bit of pizzazz. We want everything to be very creative. And But as cakers, most of us aren't coders. So you have that disconnect. So I know that Wix can seem very comfortable, um, but I honestly, if anyone, any clients ask me, WordPress is the way to go. It is, um, it's constantly being updated. It's constantly being checked for security. It can do just about anything. And it, once you know how to create a post and how to create a page, you can do anything in WordPress. Wow, I mean, you, I'm sold. <laughs> I'm basically sold. Now, since you are the blog goddess and you've been doing this for a while, you have some pointers for us today of how to get your blog to be to, up to its optimal. Thank you for that sound in the background, by the way, because we are here while they're setting up all the booths. What can I do today to make my blog better? Well, if you're using WordPress, um, and this is one of the reasons I like WordPress, because we have plugins. And my favorite plugin in the world for WordPress is called Yoast SEO. And that stands for Search Engine Optimization, if you don't know that. Okay. And it's Yoast with a Y. Mm -hmm. Yoast is great, especially if you don't know anything about SEO, because Yoast teaches you SEO while you use it. So when you create a page, Yoast is going to look at your page's content, and it's going to give you recommendations to improve the SEO on that page. And it works like a stoplight. So when you start a page, it's usually red. And then Yoast gives you a list of things to fix at the bottom. And as you fix them, you slowly go from red to orange to yellow to green. And once you get to green, you know that the content on your page is optimized. Um, what does that mean exactly that it's optimized? We're talking techie again. It means that you want that search engines like your page. That's what it means. That's what we, that's what we want ultimately, right? Would they want you want everybody to like your page? So if the search engine likes your page, that means that you rank higher in search engine searches, right? And that's what you want. You want to rank high in search engines. That's how you get people to your site. It's how you get business. If you blog for a living, it's how you make money. So search is very important. And if you're new at it and you're just learning. Having a plugin like Yoast helps because not only does it tell you what to fix, but by doing that, it's teaching you the things that you need to do. After a while, you will say to yourself, I need to make sure I have an external link in this post. I need to make sure that I have a featured image that's using my keyword, those kinds of things. That, that's fabulous. That's great input because at the end of the story, if the search engine likes you, that means more money yes. to buy more cake toys. Yes. Hold on to your spatulas, it's time for the Quick Mix Q&A. Your favorite color? Pink. Favorite song? Skip it. Name your favorite season? Spring. What's your favorite dessert? Chocolate cake. What's your least favorite dessert? Anything with yogurt. Early bird or night owl? Early bird, definitely. Coffee or tea? Tea. And your zodiac sign is? Cancer. Name a cake tool you just can't live without. That would be my bunny spatula. Exactly. How did you get into caking? I just took a Wilton class like 25 years ago with my mom. If you weren't a caker, what would you be? If I wasn't a caker, I would be a consultant on how to create and manage your websites. What did your first cake look like? My first cake was my wedding cake and it was heart shaped and purple and covered in fondant and hideous. What do you want your legacy to be? Um, kindness, that's it. I don't have any 
big aspirations except to help people. What else can I do, Rhonda? Well, one of the other things that you can do is buy the paid version of plugins. Um, a lot of plugins have a free version, which is great. It lets you try something out and see if it's something that's really going to work for you. Yoast has a has a free plugin. They're just having too much fun. They're gonna. I'm coming back later to see what that looks like. Um, Yoast has a free version, and I started off with that, and it was very useful for me. But then they add other features and new features in their premium version, which is relatively inexpensive. It's like eighty dollars a year. Um, and they add so that you can do more things with the plugin and you get more use from it. And you also get better support. You also get premium support. So instead of posting on a message board somewhere and hope that somebody will answer you, you actually have a means to contact the people at Yoast and get information. Yeah. And it also means time because if it takes you a long time to actually figure out how to do something and you can actually get somebody to do it for you immediately or show you how to get it done. Right? It's Absolutely. You are, you have fantastic, fantastic hints here and kind of hacks of how to boost your blog. What else you got? Anything else in that magic bag of yours? Well, some of the things that we're going to be doing on the site, um, we offer some analysis services for websites. So it's very important, I believe, um, I subcontract for the government. So I'm a, go a government contractor. So I am very aware of what's called Section 508 compliance, which means that websites are accessible for anybody who wants to see them. So they're handicapped accessible. So they're people who are vision impaired, hearing impaired, that they can get a good experience from visiting your website, just like someone who is fully able could. And that also helps your search rankings, by the way. Um, and Section 8, 508 compliance is just very simple things. Um, but I run some tests on your website to let you know things that you could use to improve your accessibility. Um, I also just throw in a link check for free because the software does both things. Um, I also benchmark websites. If you want to know how you're stacking up and how the security on your site is, is it mobile friendly? What's your mobile friendly rating? All of these other little metrics that we use to measure our success, I run benchmarking services as well, and I can do benchmarking reports. I was going to tell you, it sounds like there's a lot of stuff going on, because as a caker, you're already doing so many things, and you get creative, but it seems like that might be something that hopefully somebody else can take care of. Maybe, right? So you do that. What other services do you have over at the Blogging Goddess? Well, I also offer consultations. It's a one hour, one-on-one -on -one consultation that you can book with me. Um, and I will, you lead it. You decide what you need from me. Do you need me to teach you how to do something? Do you just want to run through your website and do a quick check? Do you just have a lot of questions? Um, I can, I can book time for one-on-ones and I also am getting ready to start tutorial videos um, on a wide range of subjects and those will be $10 each, um, five or 10, depending on the content and how long they are. We'll have some for free, but most of them will be paid. And then eventually at the end of May or the beginning of June, we're going to offer monthly subscription services. And that's where we provide monitoring for you. So you don't have to watch everything under the sun. We do that for you. Um, so we will give you access to a private Facebook group where we will be posting the updates that you need to know, especially as Gutenberg is coming out. Um, there's going to be a lot of information available there that's going to be very important to people who have sites in WordPress already because it's going to change the way their, word, their websites work. I'm going to ask you this question, and it has to do with our blogging course that we took over. I say over at Cara, but over at Cara is a blogging house. Um, it seems like there was a pocket of people, like there's either a sea of people who took off and ran with the, all the information, and they did fantastic, just like most courses that people take. And then they have a lot of people that kind of struggle. I know I struggled, but it was more of a perfectionist kind of thing. And once I let that go, 
I just put it out there and you could always start with something and fix it along the way. It doesn't have to be the perfect outfit, right? Um, my question to you, when you put out Baking with Ro, which is your baking blog, right? Did you have any challenges being that you're a blogger, like that you do WordPress, but did you have, what were your challenges? You know, honestly, my biggest challenge is always what I want it to look like. Um, the technical piece, I've got that down pat. Um, I am not as much of a graphics person and a design person. Um, I rely on tools to help me with that. Themes, um, you know, feature, special features and functionality that I can get through plugins. I cannot, you know, I'm not a huge graphic designer. If you've ever seen my photos, you know that I am truly challenged with, you know, Photoshop and stuff like that. That is not my area of expertise. Um, so that's always my biggest challenge and figuring out what I wanted to do that I could do myself was my biggest challenge was that. But you st even you didn't have those skills, you did find a way to get it done through the use of that. What is it? Plugins and through the use of plugins, through the use of plugins and themes. Yes. So if we wanted to use your services, and I will be keeping you on speed dial, because you know, sometimes as Kate, we just take on too much and we can't do it all at once, right? You know, either A, do it all, you know what? You can have it all, but just not all at the same time. And some things you do have to hire out. So if I wanted to come and find you, where can I find you? Well, you can find me at bloggoddess.com, all one word. I did want to let you know that for your viewers, I am going to be running a special. So for if you sign up for my newsletter, um, so you go to Blog Goddess and you sign up for my newsletter, for a, you'll get an email with a code that people who watched this can use to get 20% off any service. Oh, and that code will be good for a week oh, after fabulous. the airing of the broadcast. That is fabulous, you guys. 20% off. I just, I'm just... I'm just excited to have the service in the first place. I'm excited to be able to combine the two things that I absolutely love to do. It is, um, it's been very exciting for me and I'm really looking forward to the things we're going to be able to do. Oh, I look forward to it too. And guys, go ahead and check her out. Ro, thank you so much for taking the time out from doing your shopping thing and hanging out with us. I know you have to head to class. I'll see you around, all right? You, love you. Love you. Mwah. Hey, hope you've enjoyed this episode of Caker's Chat. If you have a question or two, don't let it stew. Comment below and let us know. Hey, and give us a hug with a thumbs up and a subscribe. Catch you on the next episode of Caker's Chat. Hi, I'm Melanie. And I'm Natasha. And, and we're the hosts of SoFlo Cake and Candy Expo. The 2018 show was amazing. So grab your aprons, because 2019 is going to be fantastic. Head over to SoFloCakeAndCandyExpo.com to sign up for our newsletter. And be the first to know about our classes and swag. And don't forget about all of our special guests. So grab your coffee and join me. And me. For Caker's Chat at SoFlo. Did you know Melanie and Natasha are offering you a special savings? That's right. Caker's Chat subscribers get 15% off general admission. That's C-A-K-E-R-S. Tickets are on sale now. See you there.